Hi and welcome to this tutorial about converting a photograph into a sketch. Um, I've posted another tutorial online using the minimum filter uh, which is really great for straight lines and hard angles and hard lines but when it comes to converting a, a portrait or a person into uh, from a photograph into a sketch uh, a different technique I think is a little bit better so this is sort of our final result uh, what we're going to start with is this Harry Potter JPEG and you can find it online um, at my website it's, it's not too tricky but uh, we've got to keep in line with with all the layers and we're going to do a lot of layer moving around so it's only a few steps though this is what we're going to start with go to your background layer and we're going to drag it into the new layer icon and uh, we're going to desaturate it so go to image adjustments desaturate. Uh, then we're going to drag it twice more down into the new layer icon so we have a total of three desaturated layers in our layers window. Uh, the top one, turn it off and name it multiply. Okay, just so we keep them straight. And then the one underneath it we're going to name invert. Okay, so the invert layer is going to be inverted and you can either hit control I on your keyboard or you can go to image adjustments invert there we go now with this uh, with this layer inverted we can now blur it out and color dodge it so actually I'm going to turn on color dodge first so change your layer blending mode into uh, color dodge and it should pretty much disappear that's great and then we're gonna add filter blur Gaussian blur now I'm just going to minimize my window here so you can see it. This this looks pretty good. What I want my blur to be is is uh, and I can I can play with the amount um, until it just I, I get some pretty decent outlines. Um, if you wash it out too much, then we're missing a lot of detail and uh, too little, and it's 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 pretty outlined. So I'm just I'm trying to get some pretty decent outlines, and it sort of depends on where you want it. I mean, you could, you could probably end it right here if you wanted to just sort of stick with that. But I like it a little bit more. I want to get some more of the tones in there. Okay, so how about something like this? Great. Click OK. Now, with your invert layer uh, uh, selected, we're going to use the paintbrush. And you can use black or white. And if you paint with white, and I've got my opacity set way down, if you paint with white, you can get rid of any of this sort of uh, speckly outline. So you can, anything that's sort of washed out, we can, we can clear it right out. There we go, that's good. And if we reverse that and paint with black, we can bring some of the details back. So I'm going to go around the mouth here and uh, the eyes, so I make sure I get my eye detail. And uh, maybe the shoulder is a little bit too light. There we go. Maybe the side of the nose as well. Darken that up a little bit. Okay. Great. Now I might go back and forth between white and black to uh, get rid of anything you don't want. And again, I'm using a very, very soft, uh, low opacity brush just to sort of trim away, feather away some of this, some of this background. Okay. So this is where things get a little bit tricky. So um, I got to refer to my piece of paper because I've done this so many times and. And uh, I, I don't want to screw it up. So here we go. Uh, we've got an invert layer and we've got a background copy. What we're going to do is merge these two together. So go to invert and go to layer, merge down. Okay, there we go. That's great. And uh, we're going to make another copy of this. So take your background copy and duplicate it. The top one we're going to name long and the bottom one we're going to name short. I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's turn off the long copy. We'll turn off the eyeball and we'll work on short first. What we're going to do with short selected is go to filter brush strokes, uh, angled strokes. This gives it a little bit of a, uh, a pencil-like effect. Uh, we're going to keep our strength stroke length down. Okay, and uh, the other things are sort of up to you to play with, but this is going to be the layer that provides us with the detail. So find something you like. Okay, then turn on your long layer. And uh, we're going to go back up again to filter, brush strokes, angled strokes. This time we're going we're to make our stroke, stroke length quite a bit longer. And this, you can see it starts to wash out the image a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, um, this looks pretty good. I just want to be able to see some nice long pencil strokes. So click OK to that. 
Now with these two selected, I'm going to take my long layer and I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Okay, maybe 70%. Again, this is something I'll have to adjust myself later on. I'm going to turn it down just so I can see through. You can see that's what the short layer looks like on its own and blend it in with the long layer. There it is. And then I'm going to turn on my multiply layer. So go to your multiply layer, turn on the eyeball and uh, change its blending mode to multiply. Okay, and then we're going to turn it down, probably down to somewhere close to 30%. And there you have it. Um, again, you know, you got to play with the short and the long strokes to see what you like. You can also change the levels on these to, to sort of pop out some dark areas. Um, sometimes maybe a blur on the short or the long stroke layer just to uh, soften some of those pencil lines. But, um, you know, with a little bit of fiddling and every photograph's different, this is the result you can get. Hope you like this one.